Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be trying a new foundation technique. This was a video done by Jackie Aina, and I'm trying her foundation technique. If you're interested in watching that, keep watching. Another soft glam, because I did a soft glam video last year, and everybody was like, oh, it's pink. Is this going to just be a running joke? But everything I touch turns to pink, because pink is my favorite Same. color. Back in the day, I was always told pink would look good on my skin tone. So sue me for capitalizing on the very thing that people told me would look good on me. Okay, it's my favorite color. Leave me alone. Buckle up, sit down, grab some quarantine snacks, and let's jump right in. I'm so we started. I'm going to prime my skin. I've been really loving the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. So she's priming her skin uh, using the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I'm good, just going to use my Milk, Hy milk Hydro Grip because I'm poor. I can't afford that. Say that primers are useless. First of all, you're useless. Oh, true. Didn't you know? The reason why I like doing this one is because it helps tone down the shine throughout. Oh, she's powdering before she puts on her foundation. So she's using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in the shade deep but i don't have that so i'm going to use my fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch setting powder in the shade banana throughout the day when you add a light layer of a powder that matches your skin tone it's almost like putting on a light layer of foundation first so mm -hmm. you don't really need as much coverage if you get a lot of breakouts if you have dark marks think of this as kind of like correcting the skin first before going in with your liquid or cream foundation, I'm going to take my contour color. This is cover girl, and the shade that I use is espresso, and it's a really dark color. Where did I put mine? Okay, so I don't actually, well, I didn't actually own a contour stick. Or foundation stick that I can use to contour with, because, I don't know, I just like bronzing. But I feel like it's time. So I got this. This is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation. And I got it in the shade F16. I ordered this online. Uh, yeah, from the swatches, it looked more warm. And it looked dark enough to make, like, an impact. Do you know what I mean? Like, what she's saying. What she's doing is she's putting on her forehead. But obviously, you can't see my forehead, like, properly. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to... Yeah. I'm also going to my cheekbones. This is so scary. It's definitely not even. Wow. Okay, we need to go higher here and then we'll go lower on this side. Yeah, that's better. I've contoured the forehead and the cheekbones. I don't want to do this. This is really scary because this is a stick. So isn't it going to, it's going to be harder to blend out. It's not a liquid. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I'll warm it up on the, oh, on the back of my hand. Oh, it's quite creamy. Hmm. Can't I just like, this is such a bad idea. Okay. Okay, that's way too low. This is a problem. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. Oh, this is such a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, I'm just gonna, oh, why did I do that? It's fine. Because my face is so narrow, sometimes it kind of helps to cut it down. And I'm also going to cut that chin down a little bit. It looks like a lot. That's because it is. But look. I've never done that one before, by the way. This is going to be interesting. The Bella's foundation brush from her Elf Collab. Because it's nice and dense. So it's going to make blending this contour quite easy. And I'm I don't have a brush to blend our contour because I don't contour. But I am now, so I'm gonna need to get a new brush. New brushes. I need new brushes anyway. So what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna use my foundation brush. Oh my god, it's so old and dusty. I need. I would like someone to send me a million pounds. That would be really nice. Anyway, I am using the Morphe M439 brush. It's old and dusty. I've literally had this for years, but. Just gonna go right in and start blending that out. Now, the fact that this color is so dark, if I was doing this on top of my foundation, I wouldn't use the color this deep. But we haven't added our foundation yet, and there's a reason for that. I'm going to get there. But first, let's mm. blend this out and make sure this is completely buffed to perfection. I'm going to take this brush. Okay, as you can see, I've made a huge rookie mistake here. 
I feel like it should have been like here because look at that that that's already the color from my chin is already diffusing up to reach oh I mess up this is a big mess anyway what can be done problem with my chin at all actually I don't know why I keep saying cut I don't want my face to be short but definitely blend it out and make it look less <laughs> with the I'm gonna take a little bit of my fancy spray off. which I don't have <laughs> Ever, 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 ever. I look a mess. She, she mm. this part goes in where this part pops. It's like a little bit canvas. Now it's colored right now. Notice I still haven't even added foundation. Oh, oh. But I'm going to take a skin tone shade that is a little bit more red and under tone. This is what you've been doing. You have oh, to do things like I do. And you can't. So basically, yeah. This is the first time I'm using like a contour stick, yeah. Mm. And... I was scared to put it directly on my skin because I thought like it would be hard to blend out because she's using a liquid I was using a stick mm -hmm. so I did some on the back of my hand but it was actually really creamy yes. so I said hmm let me make a rookie mistake and I said let me just do this and I did it and it went yes. to the wrong place so it was too low yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so keep that in yeah so you look at that you're stupid that's me. Over parts of your face that like aren't even with the rest of your face. This doesn't you really look happen great. Yeah, man, it looks like I have a moustache. You can see it now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I don't have the concealer that she's talking about, but what I use to color correct is the, the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer in the shade SX14. This is really, I I'm pretty sure she uses this in a different shade obviously but in this video so yeah but it, as she's gonna tell you how full coverage yeah, this, i think she uses the color corrector one as well she uses one as color corrector too oh does she okay well i'm doing my this place this thing looks really nice in that thing in the mirror what it looks really nice let's up one well we don't talk about that anyway i'm taking a dense brush and i'm just gonna dip some in and do my mustache yeah and then I have a stash. Now we also have to take that same shade. Any under eye darkness under my eye, I'm gonna correct that as well. Oh, because see, if I don't correct so this, used to that. I, hmm. like I like so someone's face. Like do we? Darkness. Okay, so I'm just gonna do my bags as well. My <laughs> here and here. Are you moving? Yeah, so I am. Then go. Then go. Oh, I miss good. life. Don't you guys miss life? I actually miss like going to uni. I miss life, man. Anyway, I miss going to uni. Yeah, man. Actually, well, you see my face. It looks there's a marked difference because this thing is really full coverage, and I'm just so sad that TK Maxx is closed because I was gonna go. Because oh, mm. I was gonna go and collect more shade. Don't worry, Tommy, what? You know, you know what to do when outside opens. You know where we're going first. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> my mouth area into the bottom part where we contour and I don't like to contour my nose honey you guys already know what time it is but instead I kind of do this little like bow contour thing where I just do the shade oh yeah I do this with my bronzer what you call that but then I'm gonna take a really small dense brush and I'm going to maybe that's what I'm gonna start doing as well sculpting your face more mm. Mm. yes I agree okay what I'm doing is I'm taking this brush I have no brushes. Please, if a brush company is watching this, don't look at my nails either. Please send me something for free. That would be lovely. Anyway, I'm taking this brush that I use for my eyeshadow and I'm just swirling it in there because it's too scary for me to put it on there, you know, by heart and just do it like that. So I'm just going to do it like that. Okay, what I'm doing is right now, obviously, it all looks very like diffused and not defined, but I'm doing what she always does and I'm taking, and I always do this too. I'm taking the distance here and I'm going up into my brow. Can you see like it just makes sense? Shut up. Can you see that like, how it just makes sense? Any um any housing company wanna send me a new house so I can have a filming room? <laughs> that was really funny to me. Anyway, yeah. So I finished doing that and you can get out. Yes, we're get out. out. I'm getting out. Comment down below if you hate your sisters too. Ah! <laughs> I'm joking. And as you can see, it just looks better. When you do this, the girl See, the way she's done it, 
it looks very like because she's put it on and then she's blending it out with a much denser brush than this it looks very like it's very controlled but my one i'm using a fluffy brush and i swirled the brush oh sorry and i swirled <laughs> the brush into the product and i'm doing that that's why it's like not adding up but i like i like it Definitely, if not, I don't look like I woke up like this. I woke up like death. Why would I want to put a product that is super sensitive but still like that? I woke up like death. Actually, I decided I'm just going to do what she's doing. Because. Which is what you're supposed to do. Yes, I know. I know. I'm just scared. <laughs> okay, I've just made it more, more severe. That's it. Because I don't have the utensils that she's using to, for this thing to look exactly the same. Literally. We are Nas family. Three. My normal. Do you know that's a hundred pounds? Hundred and five pounds. Makeup is expensive, you know. So she's taking the Kevin Aquan Essential Skin Enhancer in SX12, I think she said, which is a very olivey colour. I don't have that shade, but I do have a highlight, a lighter highlighting one. So I'm gonna use that to do what she's doing right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna. This is the brush I used to highlight my... Do you see the poverty? Isn't it sad? This is the brush I used that to, to highlight my, <laughs> to, to, to do my brows. I'm just using it because it's small and I can place the product exactly where I want it. So I'm just going to... This is going to give the eye a quick lift, an easy lift. Now we need to highlight the forehead. Oh, this is so I'm going to leave it there. You're wrong. Wait, Jackie, wait. Jackie, you're rushing. Gaps, of course. Remember why I told you the product here? That's where the highlight color comes in, and then I'm also going to follow the trail down my nose. Jackie, you rushing, you rushing ahead. Okay, I'm just gonna rewind it because she's rushing. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Are you normal? Sure. Don't behave like that. What a weirdo. You of all people, you guys, you don't know her. Come on, come on, don't do that. Okay. I honestly feel like this should be my perfect shade for once. <laughs> Why do you you buy the thing? You go to the shop. You know what this girl does? It. She goes to the shop. She tries that thing in the shop. She says, mm, "Yeah, this is the right color." She brings it home. No. She tries that thing at home and no. she says, "No, really, the this first is the wrong one, color." The first one, the first one, the lady, she 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 did it and she said she gave me New Caledonia and that was too dark. And then the second one, yeah, the second one, I'm so dumb. You see, you see my hand. You see my hand color, and you're not showing this. Though. You see my hand color. Yeah. You see my face color. Yeah. My hand is much lighter than my face, and do you know what I did? I went she to the shop. That thing I chose my cow. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I chose my cow. I did this. I did this, and it blended perfectly into my skin. And I said to Anissa, "Anissa, this is it, isn't it?" <laughs> I said, Lisa, wow, this is it, isn't it? Because it's bending perfectly. Can't even see it. It's all gone, it's blended. And then I said, yeah, I'm getting this. Like, my my hand is the same colour as my face. And what? It was too light. But if I do mix New Caledonia and Macau in, it's my perfect shade. That so it's fine. So, wow. It's fine. Yeah, but you shouldn't have to be doing mixing, mixing. That's actually long. And then now I bought my pieces, which also could not be my shape. But really, dude, I'm really, I'm really starting to enjoy doing makeup now. It's like yeah. really fun. Because when you have the money, the funds, why? See, just stay there. When you have the money, the funds, yeah, it's really nice. I'm about to go make a mass order. Fenty. I'll show the way you Yeah, okay. Oh! She's blending this thing out. Wow, I am just... You see, if this thing was a class, I would have failed. Anyway, so she's blending it out now. Let me just close this thing and get my sponge. Here, and then you have this kind of blurred gradient look. I just really wanted to put on makeup today, and I know that makeup tutorials do take a while. Well, it's terribly on YouTube sometimes. Yes, they do, because I get 20 so views like on it. Response to content. Try to make sure that stuff is good to go and approve and perfect and all that good stuff, but it's finally good to just sit down at home. A normal tutorial, no strings attached, no payment, no invoices, just. I know right sis. For like so many purposes, like it's foundation. Okay, I have to take this one all the way up. Hold on, babes. Right, so this eye is like blended all the way up like this. You can see that line there. So I have to do it to this eye too, otherwise my face is gonna look uneven. So I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend it up until my temple. Just like that. Oh, I didn't put any on my chin. Did she put some on her chin? I don't know. Okay, and I'm just gonna blend the forehead. Wow, my face is really looking snatched. 
Hmm. Give me this is the way one word. Maybe I'll use this technique when I'm you know I'm really trying to beat my face. Can you hear that girl screaming? You see how my siblings ruin my videos? Yeah, that's what they do. Contour. Now we're finally baby. gonna apply our foundation, and you're probably thinking, where are you gonna put it? Everywhere we didn't highlight, and everywhere we didn't contour. And I'm gonna use the NARS red. What's this I'm thing sorry, called? How can I be cooking my neck while you're talking? I'm <laughs> using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Macau. That Hermes man. Yeah, we'll be bringing this very soon. Anyway, I'm gonna take some. Just, I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand, and then from there, put it onto my face. Not as golden as I would like that, but it does the job. So really beautiful formula, especially for like okay. glam. I'm gonna take. Sorry, I'm pausing her again. I keep pausing her. That must be really annoying. Sorry, but I'm. I've just taken it under here, and you can see how that's kind of like. No, it has carved out my cheek really nicely. And then once I've blended this out a little bit more, I'm just gonna um blend it in with the chin contour that we've got going here, so that it doesn't have any sharp lines. Lightly fill in the blanks. I'm gonna look elite glam, and I'm doing this technique. Also, it's yes, a lot. Yes, I see that. She's adding another concealer. You don't have another concealer. I do. This is just making me uncomfortable. <laughs> but her face looks sick, so I'm just gonna do what she's doing. What did she say? Did she say she should use a highlighting? Let me go back. Yes. Eyes and also gonna draw it on extended in the same way we did earlier with that concealer of like a lifted longer eye, wider eye, I should say. We're also gonna pop that on the chin. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait, I'm just gonna blend them out. One more extra light, extra Caucasian. <laughs> now we need a concealer that's just a tad bit lighter than what your highlight would be. Not even a tad, maybe like I don't have one of those, so I'm just gonna do this. But that made all the difference in making my under eye look even more sad in a really good Okay, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm back and my brows are done. The more you use, the more it literally just looks like the product is just sitting. Not in a good way, not like sitting. No, we don't really bake around here on these parts anymore. That was the old Jack yes. China. Use good. the powder to base. And I'm gonna take my powder and just plop that powder in the same area that we highlighted. What we're actually gonna do is wait. And then she said she's going to take a brush and put it on the bridge of her nose, which is what I'm going to do. Obviously, this is not as precise as she's done it because she's using a better brush for this. I'm just using the brush that I typically use to set my under eye if I set it with a brush instead of a sponge. Yeah, my face looks very snatched right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Powder the forehead. Uh, yeah, just done that. Take the corners of the nose and the chin. Mm -hmm. It's time to bronze. I'm gonna take my bronzer. <laughs> I really love Coco Boy. She's just like that girl. She's that shit. Like, I'm not saying the other girls aren't doing it, They're not. but they aren't doing it. So using a I've also got Coco Naughty, so I'm gonna do the same. This color is perfect. This formula is perfect. Don't think I forgot about my jawline. I did. Right at the little tip of my ear. Start buffing and blending that out. There anyway, so when you kind of bronze something, Ooh, like pre something I see something. Now, if we want to be extra glamorous, I take my highlighting powder again. We do some reverse contouring. This is the Ooh. powder from Dermalogica. Ooh, I see something. Ooh. Soak that powder on there. Right oh, she's gonna reverse contour. Okay. I don't have the confidence. Well, yes, I do, but I, just, I don't want to. I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a brush, the brush that I was just using. Was I just using it? I don't know. I just be saying anything these days. Um, and I'm just going to swirl it in, and then because I think it does the same thing, but just less harsh. So I think it's more effective when the d area directly underneath the contour is what's highlighted rather than the whole thing on me anyway hmm. yeah man yeah man so it's time to do our shadow let's prep our lids i'm going to take where's my concealer my pre filter concealer i'm gonna do what she just did i never do this so i'm scared a little bit why is everybody in my family so noisy of my actual eyelid color it's 
I don't have that palette and I don't think I have a shadow that is similar in colour. Do you know what? I'm going to go into Sienna and Dusty Rose from the AVH and Soft Glam palette because I don't know what else to do. I don't want it to be too pink but then I also don't want it to be too like mauve -y. Is that the right colour? I don't know. A little bit pink in undertone also. If I had it my way, she'd look like Ginger from my palette. If you have my palette, Ginger's perfect for this set. But like I said, I was just trying well, to get my shadows and how many other things. That's I'm extremely doing. annoying! She literally just said, Ginger is perfect for this step. I have Ginger. So why didn't she just say it? Joking. No, I'm not joking. That is annoying, isn't it? Isn't it, Jackie? Isn't it? anyway i like how this looks it looks more similar to what she's doing and just like her i have um an unhealthy obsession with pink so yeah i'm going to use prairie from the palette which is this shade color. i'm gonna apply use the exact same place that we applied this one burnt orange feel free to take your time okay so she's using that uh shade pasha from the natasha denona palette which like i said i don't have this keeps going out of focus and it's really annoying me I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to use am I going to use a smaller brush for this? yes I am because I have less lid space than her okay so she's going way too fast so I'm going to pause that and just do the same with the other eye so then what did she say? So what I like to do after I apply my dark colors is I'll go back in with my increased colors, either of them. This is also what I would do. So I've gone into burnt orange again and I'm just going to diffuse around the edges. Soft glam is not your skin but better. No, still glam makeup. That's the difference. Any questions? I'm gonna take my concealer and we're gonna cut the crease. Okay, so it's time to cut the crease. I'm taking that Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, the lightest concealer that I've used today. Okay, I've done that eye. Maybe I should make it a bit cleaner. Does it really matter? The shadow's gonna go over this anyway. I'm gonna go back to C and Pasha. I'm actually. So, what I'm gonna do is go into this this and this. Yeah, I'm just gonna mix those three together. I'm gonna do what she's doing, so I'm just. At the outer V part, blending inwards. I'm just going to diffuse it out a little bit more and then I'm going to diffuse out the edges. We're laying the groundwork with buff. Right on top of that, we're going to go in with freckled apple. We're going to go in with freckle. Oh dear. Colors. So the colour that she just used is a very corally, pinky, ready colour, which I have nothing similar to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into her palette and take edges and mix it with this one supreme because i feel like somehow that's the closest i'm gonna get i don't know if this is gonna work probably not but oh well hmm yes i was right i think and with freckle we're gonna go in with freckle so with the two colors mix and ah get. okay i see what she's doing so i'm just gonna pause that and do what i need to do before i add a lighter shade on top and then i'm gonna go on top of that with that burnt orange color because it's lighter to turn that into like a salmony color i just switched on my light because the lighting just looks awful because it's getting darker anyway so now what she's doing is she's she's going back into the dark color that she used earlier and she's just blending it out that's it tap into it very lightly and I'm going to do the right thing today. I'm going to wear black liquid liner. It's not something I usually invite on my channel. It's not usually something I embrace. But today, for this particular look, we're going to go there. Right, so she's put on black liner. She's doing a wing. So that's what I'm going to do. I haven't done a wing in a long time. So I'm going to do this off camera. Okay, I'm back. I did the eyeliner. It all looks a bit crazy. But... I'm going to put my lashes on in a minute, depending on what Jackie says. No way. I don't know what my brush is. She doing what? Oh, I'll bottom lash line. And okay, just wait a second, please. No, I can zoom out now. I've had enough of this. This just had me looking ugly the whole time. 
Oh, it still looks ugly. Anyway, that's much better. Okay, time to do my bottom lash line. Now the baseliner right. and the waterline is an absolute must for soft glam. So I'm gonna take this one for makeup. Wait! Oh, it looks so scary right now. I can't be asked now. If this if this thing doesn't look good, I'm not gonna be nice. Okay, so I flesh tone this thing. This is what I have. This is by Makeup Revolution. It's called Supreme Pigment Gel Eyeliner Nude. In the shade nude. I've never used nude eyeliner before. This is scary. Forever is one of my favorites. For a lot of looks, I'm just It is first in the shade Infinite Sand. And I like popping that. Ah! Just to kind of open your eyes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about this on me. Ah! I don't know. Are you going to stop screaming? No. I don't like scary things. I've done it too close to the outer corner. Let me just amend this before the camera starts rolling again. Okay, so I've done the white. Well, I don't know the waterline. She's still drying. In the meantime, I'm going to throw in some blush. My favorite blushes are from Lorena Bote. This is in the shade Sweet Brown. I'm going to use the NARS liquid blush in the shade Torrid because I don't have that one. Just going to take my brush and swirl it in there and then put it on my cheeks. And then I'm going to use my sponge to blend it in after. You can see the difference that makes. Yeah, I like how that looks. Alright, it's last time. Lives up. Okay, looking at what she looks like, I feel like I need to put more blush on. I'm scared because this is a liquid blush and I'm not like, I don't know, I just get scared of putting liquid blushes on top of set foundation. But I'm just going to put some more on. Because I can't be bothered. Where's my... Okay, I think that's better. Maybe I should have just gone straight in to the blush with a sponge. Maybe that's just a better idea. Because I feel like when I swirl it onto my when i pump it onto the back of my hand and swirl it into my brush it wastes product yeah that looks much better oh that's a lot oops but then again she has got quite a lot on so my nose okay what lash is she Ooh. wearing oh that's really pretty it definitely pulls the eyes out oh yeah that's fine that is a good lash wow oh. okay i need a nice lash that pulls my eyes out Ooh. this one is like tried and tested i know what this looks like on my eye so i'm gonna just use this when I used when I last used this, I looked quite powerful to be honest. So I'm just gonna put the glue on and let this dry, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I've got my lashes on. As you can see, this is like the perfect lash for this. Brown. I'm just gonna use this brown lip liner of mine. Damn. And then for lipstick, dark brown has become my new thing lately. This is in the shade Lala. It's also from Natasha Denona from their I Need a New collection. Okay, I don't have a dark brown lipstick, but I'm gonna use this. I hate using lip matte lip stuff. Anyway, it's some um, the Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigment Show in the shade Show by Makeup Revolution. I hate the way this looks so I'm going to do something I am going to add this lip topper on top I use this lip topper all the time Going to glue my wig on. Oh, she didn't do lashes. Just gonna do my bottom lashes and I'm gonna do my top lashes too, just so that they blend in, but obviously I can't do them very well. So that's the end of the video. This is the end. This is the final result. Lips, dark. This is soft glam. This is soft glam. I mean it is quite pink. No, I wouldn't say it is that pink actually. Maybe my like complexion because of my blush, but this kind of look is just quintessential soft glam, that's it that's it i really like how it turned out i like the t the foundation technique it's a new technique to me um i might just keep trying it out trying different ways that you know that i can make it my own and see what i like and what i don't like about it um but yeah that's the end of the video thank you very much for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll see you next one Bye.